back once again in your biology class. This is Nasrin and you are watching Educational Support. If you like this video, then press a subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. Today, I gonna teach something to you that is most important biology questions and answers for medical entrance exam. It is also a very quick test for biology lovers. In my opinion, this video will help each and everyone and judge yourself and revise your mistakes because this lesson increases your confidence level. So let's begin. So the first question is, Joint Forest Management concept was introduced in India during and the options are 1980s, 1990s, 1960s and the last one is 1970s. So the answer is option A, 1980s. Because the Joint Forest Management concept was introduced in 1980s by the government of India to work closely with the local communities for protection and management of forests. So the answer is option A, 1980s. Next question is anti-sterility vitamin E and the options are Vitamin B12, Vitamin D, Vitamin E, and the last one is Vitamin A. So the answer is option C, Vitamin E. Do you know why we need Vitamin E? Vitamin E is also called as tocopherol or anti-sterility vitamin. Vitamin E is important for reproductive health for both men and women as well as cardiovascular, brain and nervous system health and function. A vitamin E is rich diet also supports healthy skin, hair and nails and protects against the free radical damage and the normal effects of aging. Do you know which are the best food sources of vitamin E? Nuts and seeds are top sources, especially almond, pecan, walnut, sunflower seeds, and good sources also induce olive oil and green leafy vegetables such as raw spinach and steamed broccoli. So the answer is vitamin E. Next question is, the amino acid tryptophan is the precursor for the synthesis of and the options are estrogen and progesterone, cortisol and cortisone, melatonin and serotonin and the last one is thyroxin and triiodothyronine. So the answer is option C, melatonin and serotonin. The amino acid tryptophan is the precursor for the synthesis of melatonin and serotonin. So serotonin and the melatonin has the same precursor within the pineal gland. The serotonin is got by acetylation whereas outside the pineal gland the serotonin gets methylated thereby forming melatonin. So melatonin is an important hormone that regulates the sleep wet cycle. It is also called as the hormone of the dark and serotonin is related to the happy feeling of the biological system. This is the tryptophan serotonin synthesis pathway and this pathway represents serotonin synthesis from tryptophan. Next question is, which of the following guts the opening of hepatopancreatic duct into the duodenum? 
and the options are pyloric sphincter, sphincter of OD, semilunar one, and the last one is iliocecal one. So the answer is sphincter of OD. Do you know what is sphincter of OD or why it is called hepatopancreatic sphincter? Yes, the hepatopancreatic sphincter or the sphincter of OD is a muscular valve made up of smooth muscles that control the flow of digestive juices that is bile and pancreatic juices to the ampulla water into the second part of the duodenum by the movement of the muscular wall. So it surrounds the end portion of the bile duct and pancreatic duct. Hence it is called as hepatopancreatic sphincter. So the answer is sphincter of OD. Next question is which one of the following is a characteristic feature of cropland ecosystem? And the options are absence of width, ecological succession, absence of soil organisms, and the last one is least genetic diversity. So the answer is option D, least genetic diversity. So least Genetic diversity is a characteristic feature of cropland ecosystem. Do you have any idea what is cropland ecosystem? A cropland ecosystem have a major crop cultivated in a green area. It shows that the diversity in that particular area will be less. So whereas it is the opposite when forest ecosystem is considered. This is man-made ecosystem and man has been doing his best in modifying the cropland to get maximum benefit out of it. A cropland ecosystem may be illustrated by crops like wheat, maize, rice, sugarcane, etc. So the answer is least genetic diversity. Question number six is, which part of the tobacco plant is infected by malodegenic incognita? So the options are stem, root, flower and the last one is leaf. And the answer is root. Because malodegenic incognita also known as the southern root Nematode or cotton root knot nematode is a plant parasitic roundworm in the family Heterodaridia. So, this nematode is one of the four commonest species worldwide and has numerous hosts. Do you know it is probably the most Economically important plant parasitic nematode species among the tropical and subtropical regions. Yes, this nematode is extremely phylogenous, attacking both monoatoms and dicytodons, and it is estimated that more than 3,000 plant species can be affected. So the answer is root. On question number 7 is specific cells found in liver are and the options are hepatic cells, beta cells, Cooper cells and islets of Langerhans. So the answer is Cooper cells. Cooper cells are specialized macrophages located in the liver lining the walls of thyroid They form part of mononuclear thyroid system. The principal function of Cooper cells is to perform scavenger 
and phagocytic functions to remove protein, complexes, small particles, red blood cells, and cell debris from portal blood flow through pattern recognition detection. So it performs primary immune surveillance against gut derived toxin mixture, including endotoxin, lipopolysaccharide, and pathogens from the intestinal flora. So the specific cells found in liver are liver cells. Next question is, runal glands are found in and the options are submucosa of stomach, submucosa of duodenum, mucosa of esophagus and the last one is mucosa of ileum. And the answer is submucosa of duodenum. Brunner gland or duodenal gland are compound tubular submucosal gland found in that portion of the duodenum which above the hepatopancreatic sphincter that is sphincter of OD. The main function of this gland are to produce a mucus with alkaline secretion that is protect the duodenum from the acidic content of chyme. Provide an alkaline condition for the intestinal enzymes to be active and thus enable absorption to take place and also lubricate the intestinal wall. So the Brunner's gland are found in option B, submucosa of duodenum. Number 9 question is the coconut water from tender coconut represents and the options are free nuclear from brow, free nuclear endosperm, endocarp and the last one is fleshy mesocarp. So the answer is option B free nuclear endosperm because the coconut water from tendra coconut represents the free nuclear or liquid endosperm and during the development of nuclear type of endosperm, the primary endosperm mother cell divided by free nuclear division and these divisions are not followed by cell wall formation. So thus, the free nuclei remain in the cytoplasm of the embryo sac. So the correct answer is option B. Free nuclear endosperm. Next, we are going to focus on question number 10. Deficiency of which vitamin causes night blindness? And the options are Vitamin C, Vitamin B, Vitamin A and the last one is Vitamin D. And the answer is option C, Vitamin A. What causes night blindness? Do you know? Yes. Vitamin A also called retinol and plays a role in transforming nerve impulses into images in the retina and the retina is a light sensitive area in the back of your eye. People who have pancreatic insufficiency such as individuals with cystic fibrosis have difficulty absorbing fat and are at a greater risk of having vitamin A deficiency. Because vitamin A is a fast solid, this puts them at greater risk for developing night blindness. People who have high blood sugar levels or diabetes also have a higher risk of developing eye diseases such as cataract and vitamin A deficiency can also lead to night blindness. 
So, deficiency of which vitamin causes night blindness are vitamin A. All right, guys. It was a great connecting. You have a good one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. See you get notifications. Thanks a lot.